y'all. It's your girl, Deb, and I'm back with another episode of Life Starring Deb. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for coming back. And if you are brand new to this channel, then welcome. Welcome to Life Starring Deb, where we talk about things pertaining to women and men that are aging, mature, you know, things that we can do, things that keep us vibrant, things that keep us visible. So today, I am excited to be talking about spring break. Why? Because this is the time of year when I pack a bag and I leave for two or three days just to unwind, just to relax, just to do me. I look forward to this every year because even in relationships, you have to carve out some time by yourself, for yourself. And your family should understand that, and mine do. This year, it's gonna be a little different because I'm not going alone. Three of my friends are joining me on my me-cation. So now my me-cation is more like a friend-cation. And I'm looking forward to that, actually. Still looking forward to doing me and doing the things that I enjoy, the things that I wanna do, but happy that I have some friends joining me. However, in doing that, I think that in order to have a successful trip, in order to make sure that the friends that you leave with, you're still friends when you get back, there needs to be some guidelines and there need to be some things that you talk about prior to the trip, like expectations. What are the expectations? One of the things that you need to talk about is the financial contribution from each person if there is one. If you expect for them to pay for some things, then that should be communicated up front. And not just communicated that you expect them to pay some things, but how much you're expecting for them to contribute to the trip. That needs to be spelled out before you go so that people have an opportunity to either decline because they can't afford it or know upfront what it is. And I would suggest collecting the money from the people if that's what the expectation is before you get there. Because once you get there and you start partying and drinking and eating and doing all these things, they just might run out of money. So handle the business part of it before you leave. You want to make sure that you communicate that although you are the host, meaning you invited them, that you don't want to be the trip advisor, you don't want to put together the itinerary, you don't want to start saying, okay, here's a list of everything that we're going to do. You want to make sure that you communicate ahead of time everything that the place that you're going has to offer so that everyone can have an opportunity to say what it is that they want to do. And hopefully, you'll be able to do those things. Now, because I've already got it in my mind that my mutation now has turned into a group event, I have to make adjustments. And I need to be flexible. Because as much as I enjoy being by myself, I have to understand that I'm not on this particular trip. And I don't want to isolate myself or I don't want to, you know, just be gone all the time and, you know, not communicate to the people that I'm with where I'm going and what I'm doing because it's a group trip. And at the end of the day, you want to have fun. You want to be able to get away with your girls. You want to let your hair down. You want to be able to laugh, to laugh and talk and have fun and girl time and all those things that go with like a big couple of days slumber party, you know, those kinds of things. So in that, you want to keep it light. You know, if you're carrying a heavy burden or, you know, something that you really need to talk about, something that's bothering you, a problem that you have, you know, depending on how deep it is, you might want to save that for another opportunity. Because, you know, conversations and heaviness and, and um, broken hearts and things like that can change the whole atmosphere of the trip. And you don't want to spend two or three days counseling 
or crying with the person or all that. I mean, if that is what the trip is designed to be, like we've talked about that, a person said, I'm going through some heavy stuff and I need to get away and I want my friends, I want to talk to my friends, then you already know that when we get there, that's what it's going to be because that's why you're going. But if you're going because you really just want to have a lighthearted time and you want to have fun and you want to laugh, then you want to make sure that you leave the heavy stuff at home. Save it for another time. Keep it light. So, these are some of the items that I have gathered to give my friends to get the party started. And I am going to take you with us to Palm Springs, California, so you can see the girls and what we get into for the next couple of days. Stay tuned. So this is our girls' weekend bag. Each woman was gifted with their personalized wine glass. We have some playing cards and inside of their weekend survival bag, all the ladies received their cup, some Chirac, the same color matching their cup. They also received a mask in case they wanted to give themselves a facial and some foot sockets that they put on and that will remove the calluses from their feet. Come on! The scenery was beautiful with the snow on the mountain. Okay, thank you. 